right before the fat of my thumb laying on the motor. I'm thinking it's about an inch and a quarter. I like to be about an inch. And these are going to work great for the rear, for the front of this thing. But the rear looks a little different. So there's one, two, or one. And then again, I'm going to put my fatty part of the thumb in there and hold the bottom. And that's my inch. If I do them all the same, they'll all be the same. See that? And if you want to fix them, that one looks a little long. You just go back and cut a little off, all right? All right. Okay. So those are the two uh, motor leads. I'm going to trim them and tin them real quick while we're here. So let's go up to number one, two, three, four. Check that one out. That one looks like a good one. Let's try five just in case. Five works just as well. We'll use five. Okay. There's one. I'm going to spin these up. Tighten the weave. No stragglers hanging off. There's one. I'm going to do the same to this one. Spin it up. Spin it up. And we're going to tin them up. Okay. All right, let's get them. clean this okay I got him and if you want, you could solder them right to these right away. And I like doing that this way. So hang with me here. Put this on here. Holding this down. I'll take this right here. And then if I can see where I set down my tweezers. We can get going with this. Here they are. All right. See, I check the lengths on these. Sometimes it's a little long. You want to trim a little back. Like that one's just a hair long. This one could use a little bit off of it. All right. So we're looking good there now. We're going to do one in parallel and one cross for motor rotation and again this is quick this is a quick setup right here you want to clean your tip put a little on there see how I got a little on there on that inside edge watch one down Two down. These are nice. Three down. See that? Okay, let's grab another one. All right. If you do this always the same way, you're going to get it right. So there's number one front. I'm going to take another one and another ESC, again backwards, and this is going to be number two on the side. Let's see the length of some of these. And we'll 
take off a little of that one. I like the middle one. And we'll take off a little of this end one. Watch your solder stuff. All right, here we go. I'm going to lay my wrench back on it. A lot of guys pre-tin these uh, pads off your ESCs. And it's a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. Actually, that one needs a little bit more on it. So I'm going to... Alright, let's get to it. We're going to swap this one now. This one's for the opposite side. Knowing that, ahead of time, I'm going to put this one to the middle. I'm sorry if you can't see. That's a beautiful joint right there. I'm going to take this one under it, the middle one, and bring it to the opposite side. So I just switched the poles on the on this three-phase motor. Okay, let's get this one on here. that well let's stop here and then I'll come back and we'll set up for round two